गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन बेटा टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू बिगन विद न्यू टॉपिक दैट इज फ्रेजल वर्ब्स ओके सो वॉट आर फ्रेजल वर्ब्स द कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ अ वर्ब एंड प्रोपोजिशन वर्ब एंड एडवर्ब और वर्ब विद एन एडवर्ब मीन्स कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ वर्ब एंड प्रपोजिशन verb adverb okay and what verb with an adverb and preposition this is an what this combination is called an phrasal verb a combination of verb and preposition verb and adverb verb with an adverb and a preposition to form a complete unit of meaning theek hai to form a complete unit of meaning to form a complete meaning is called phrasal verbs Now read the following sentences carefully. After the vacation, she wanted to get back to work immediately. So get back means resume. Okay, she wanted to resume the work immediately. He did not turn up from the uh, for the interview. Means he did not come. He did not arrive. Now look at uh, the examples given here uh, with meaning of each phrasal verb in the table. Look into. so look is the verb and into is the preposition means if you are saying look into you are saying that examine look into it means uh, examine this turn off turn is a verb and off is an adverb which is turn off is please turn off the fan means switch off the fan given uh, sorry give back means to return to return something please give uh, him uh, give back his uh, pen means return walk out means to leave carry on means continue so these are the uh, phrasal verbs and their meanings has been given to you their structure uh, is also been shown to you that a verb with adverb or with verb with preposition now the preposition or the adverbs that accompany the verb in the phrasal verbs are known as particles means if a preposition and an adverb are are accompanying with the verb in the phrasal verb they are called participles preposition plus adverb if they accompany with verb they are called what participle participles okay if verb uh, sorry preposition and adverb accompany with accompany verb in phrasal verbs they are called participles this is one of the feature there is no suffix or prefix uh, added in the phrasal verbs or participles sorry particles not participles it is called particles sorry okay there is no prefix or suffix uh, in the particles example he made a with his old friend recently means made up means he did a patch up so up is a uh, here a particle now when required only the form of verb can be changed in phrasal verb now what does this mean whenever it is needed you can change the form of verb in phrasal verb 
for example break out we can become broke out okay so you are changing the form of verb whenever required in a sentence you are changing the form of verb even though the verb remain the same the change in particle can completely change the meaning of the phrasal verb means uh, if you are of the uh, verb remain the same if the verb remain the same but the change in uh, particle can change the meaning in <coughs> phrasal verb ran out of means nothing left okay he ran out of means uh, the nothing was left but ran after so here you are changed in the particle so when particle is changing the meaning is also changing uh, ran uh, after means pursued uh, to run after something to pursue something and uh, uh, ran out of means kisi cheez ka khatam ho jana okay nothing left i hope it is clear to you now read the list of phrasal verbs and their meaning given below note the way the meaning changes with the change of preposition or adverb now put aside means meaning is given safe put down means right put forward means suggest put in means to claim put off means postpone put away means tidy up okay so phrasal verbs and their meanings have been given below now let's move on to the first exercise of this particular chapter use the phrasal verb given below and fill in the blanks to complete the sentence and if frank dash her thoughts and feelings in her personal diary put down okay means wrote uh anne frank put down her thoughts and feelings in her personal diary the manager dash good ideas to improve the sales of the new product so put forward the manager put forward good ideas to improve the sales of the new product mother told arunima to dash all her scattered clothes by afternoon <coughs> mother told arunima to put to put away to put away all her scattered clothes by afternoon sona dash some pocket money to buy a gift for her mother sona put aside put aside some pocket money to buy a gift for her mother okay now take down the screenshot take down the screenshots so that uh, we could continue with the uh, exercise okay i am rubbing this off now after fourth the fifth one is what is fifth one raghav dash a claim for new uh, for car insurance after a 
tree fell on his car. So Raghav put in a claim. For car insurance after a tree fell on his car. His trip. His trip dash because the flight got cancelled. So his trip was put off because the flight got cancelled. Hmm. Because the flight got cancelled. Now please take down the screenshot. Okay, so I'm rubbing this off. <coughs> so after this, <coughs> so we I would be doing the D exercise for you, but just uh, only only the half portion of it. Uh, it is being said in the D exercise, make phrasal verb using the verb look and the given. Particle use them in uh, sentences of your own. The first one has been done for you So you would be adding a phrasal verb with look and then you would be making sentence So I am making the phrasal verb for you and uh, you would be doing the exercise uh, You would be making the sentence on your own. So B C and D half portion is your homework So let's continue with the D part Okay, so D first one uh, is done for you. So we would be we would be continuing with the second. So look plus into. You would be making sentence of your own. Look plus back. Make a sentence. Look. Plus out sentence look after sentence and look up sentence okay you would be making uh, the sentence on your own now take down the screenshot Take down the screenshot. Okay, I'm hoping that you have taken down the screenshot. So let's move on to another subheading that is types of phrasal verb. Types of phrasal verbs. Now, phrasal verbs are of various kind. They can be divided broadly, uh, broadly into two categories. And these two uh, categories are inseparable and separable. inseparable and separable phrasal verbs am i clear now read the sentence given here fuel supplies are sure to run out so run is a verb and out is a particle. The verb and particle 
that make a phrasal verb run out sorry run out are placed next to each other we cannot use them separately such verbs are called inseparable verbs in which the, uh, you cannot use verb and parti uh, particle uh, where you cannot uh, separate them where you cannot use these words uh, uh, alone okay and uh, the meaning remains the same now read the sentence given below mother told me to turn the television on so turn is a verb and uh, on is a particle here you can separate them so turn on here this phrasal verb can be separated okay so this is separable phrasal verb the meaning remains the same and the uh, sorry uh, these uh, phrasal verb can be separated so that's why it becomes the uh, separable uh, separable phrasal verb and ran out uh, example uh, if we uh, separate uh, these ran and out then the meaning would change that's why it comes into the category of inseparable phrasal verb am i clear okay now the exercise e is given fill in the blanks with separable phrasal verbs given below complete the sentence okay dash the radio dash so the answer would be turn the radio on separable uh, phrasal verb is being asked so the answer would be e part first turn the radio on second part father told me to dash the lights dash before i left the room so father told me to turn the lights off before i left the room the manager dash the meeting till next week so the manager put the meeting off till the next week mother told anisha to dash the kitchen dash mother told manisha to clean the kitchen up okay here the meaning remains the same but verb and phrasal verbs are not used together they are separate from one another the coach asked the players to dash their effort dash and win the trophy so the coach asked the players to put to put their efforts together and win the trophy now please take down the screenshot please take down the screenshot okay so i am uh, rubbing this off please take down the screenshot okay so i am rubbing it off okay now here is a table with more phrasal verbs and their meaning phrasal verb meaning cut down means reduce die down weaken bounce back recover from a problem okay so ask out invite someone ask for request make up for compensate mess up commit an error rule out exclude run out meet someone unexpectedly 
लीव आउट एक्सक्लूडेड ड्रेस अप वियर स्पेशल क्लोथ्स डू विदाउट सवाई विदाउट समथिंग ज्वाइन इन मीन्स पार्टिसिपेट एंड कीप बैक मीन्स हाइड समथिंग सो दीज आर सम मोर फ्रेजल वर्ब्स दैट यू नीड टू नो नाउ एफ एक्सरसाइज इज डन फॉर इज हेयर आर सम सेंटेंस विथ फ्रेजल वर्ब्स अंडरलाइन दैम एंड मैच दैम विथ एप्रोप्रिएट मीनिंग ओके so i am doing f part for you and uh, g1 is your homework so let's continue uh, the headmaster walked uh, into the okay the headmaster walked into so this is g and i am just writing down the phrasal verbs okay the headmaster walked into the headmaster walked into the examination hall and instructed the students to carry on to carry on to carry on writing the answers she looked into she looked into she looked into the attendance sheet and pulled up students and pulled up pulled up students who were wasting time when the time was up when the time was up students were told students were told to hand over please take down the screenshot firstly please take down the screenshot all of you so when the time was up hand over okay Uh, students were asked were told to hand over the paper and leave the examiner also walked out the examiner also walked out with bundles of answer sheet later please take down the screenshot okay so with this we have come to an end uh, of this uh, to this exercise also and also to this chapter also okay so your uh, homework for today would be your homework would be do exercise b c d and uh, f okay you have to do all these exercise okay okay beta now bye take care